All right, guys, this is Joe Dickinson. So I just got, well, I didn't get done yet. I'm about to be done with setting up some ads for a local client I have, their local auto mechanic. Now, I want to shoot this video because um, you might be looking to get some clients in your local area. Mechanics are great ones to run Facebook and Instagram ads for. Uh, mechanics tend to do pretty well from a business standpoint, so they've got some money to spend. Uh, and they love the idea of online advertising primarily because it's like so far over their head, right? Like they're used to twisting wrenches and fixing cars. So the whole online thing is a bit scary to them, but they know with social media and stuff like that, they should be doing stuff. So anyways, I said to myself, you know what? Let me shoot a video showing people what I'm doing for this company right here. So the first thing I did before I walk you through all the ads and stuff like that is I went to the Facebook page and I created some posts on their behalf. Now, the reason I did this was because I'm going to go ahead and actually use these posts that I've made as ads. So if you notice here, let me scroll through. I'm going to bring you down to the first one I made. So I put four posts up in total. So here's the first one right here. And we're talking about oil changes. Now, oil changes are like this company's bread and butter. They do a lot of these things. And you probably have been to a mechanic before maybe where you're like you've brought your car for an oil change and all of a sudden they're like, oh, you need brakes and you need this and that. The other thing, all of a sudden you're thinking you're going to pay, you know, 100 bucks for an oil change or 50 bucks for an oil change and it's like a $400 bill. So mechanics like getting oil changes because it's typically a feeder into other services. So what I did is we made a graphic here. You can always make a graphic using canva.com or something like that, just a free graphic creator. So Here's a uh, an image, and then right below here, you're going to see, or right above, excuse me, I wrote some copy, some ad copy. So I always love to start with a question because it gets people to like read something as opposed to just a statement that's selling. I love starting my ads with questions because as people are scrolling through their newsfeed and they see a question, they might read it because naturally they want to they want to see that or they engage with questions. That's the whole idea here. So boom. What's, when's the last time you changed the oil in your car? Come see us for a quick, efficient, and affordable oil change to keep your car running strong through the season. Now, I want to talk to, about something very quickly. I used this language for a reason. Quick, efficient, and affordable oil change. And here's why. I'm trying to think about the people who are going to be seeing this ad who might need an oil change. And there's some things that they're thinking about. Man, I know I got to get an oil change, but I don't want the car to sit at the mechanic for two hours. Quick. We mentioned quick, right? efficient that is something that's just a good word to use to be honest there's not a massive reasoning i use that one but quick is a huge buzzword and then also affordable right people care about quick and affordable for the most part hence i focused on using those words inside of here and then i said car running strong through the season noticed i said through the season not through the summer season or the fall season or the winter season the reason why is because now this ad can be run literally all year long on and off because i kept it generic enough now, this guy cares mostly about, and I said to him, Charlie, I said, you know, what do you want most? Do you want people to go to your website because they can book an appointment right on your website, or do you want them to call? And he's like, Joe, I'd rather just pick up the phone and call because if they call me, the chances of them coming in are much higher. So what did we do? We put the phone number right at the very top. And then, of course, we go into here. Here are a few things you can expect with an oil change. Boom, boom, boom. Add emojis. Those are always key. And so some of this stuff might be like irrelevant for people who need an oil change right now and they know it. So right here, you know, people might get just to this section, pick up the phone and call. But if people want to keep reading, here's some other things that they can, you know, look into. So it might be like they're either overdue for an oil change or an oil change is coming. And that's why I included this added copy here. Now, you watching this video, you're going to get better and better and better with copy as you write more of it, but I want to give you an example of that. So anyways, boom, here's one other thing I made sure to mention. We've proudly been in business since 1963, providing honest, affordable, and quality work to all of our customers. That's massive for mechanics. People sometimes are skeptic of mechanics. Are they lying, uh, et cetera? So that's why we want to make sure we really leverage that piece of the business. Not, not all your clients are have, going to be in business since 1963 or beyond, right? Some might be brand new, so you can't leverage that arm but i wanted to share that with you so anyways really good version of an ad so here's one talking about oil changes but that's not all this guy does right so we went ahead and created some other posts here's a pretty clever one should have called point auto in summer's point when my car started acting up right so just a funny little picture that should grab people's attention and then check out the headline ever been here we hope not one of the worst feelings is being stuck on the side of the road prevention is the best way to keep your car running strong and never leaving you stranded 
right? It's kind of like healthcare, right? Keeping your health up is one of the best ways of avoiding having to go to the doctor in the first place. So that's why I go into check engine light on, car not running just right, AC or heat not working great, feel like your brakes aren't as strong as they used to be, need an oil change, have a scratch or dent you want to get fixed, give us a call anytime. What am I doing here, guys? I'm trying to connect with the customer. More than likely, if someone owns a vehicle, unless it's brand new, they probably have got one or a couple of these issues right here. So we just tried to connect with them in some way, shape, or form very quickly. And then the idea is, Someone reads this and they're saying, oh yeah, I actually do have that scratch or dent. You know what? Let me call these people. Boom. Now they're picking up the phone. No job is too small, et cetera. So you get the idea with that one. This one here, uh, this is their mascot. It's their dog bear. So I did problem, solution, and then check out my headline. Got vehicle issues. Check engine light on. Quench questions, right? Would you believe us if we said our dog bear can fix it? So there we go. I use this to get their attention and then boom, all kidding aside, know our dog and mascot bear will not be the one working on your car, but you know who will? Our team of qualified mechanics over here at Point Auto who are incredible at what they do. So boom, um, I love this one. This is a good post. And the last one is brakes. Brakes are a pretty common thing to fix on cars. Hence, we've got this. How's your stopping power? Your vehicle's brakes are arguably the most important thing to keep an eye on. Would you agree? Need a brake checkup. Boom, boom, boom. So you get the idea. So what I've done first is I've created four posts. Now I'm going to come into my ads manager and I'm actually going to go ahead and create an ad campaign. So what I did is let me go ahead and go here. So this is the campaign. First, what I did is I clicked on this create button. And for consideration, I chose engagement because honestly, I care more about people just seeing this post. I'm not worried about converting them into like a purchase on a website because there's nothing even to buy. These guys just want to get their phone number. So to be honest, brand awareness or engagement would probably be fine. But I selected engagement and that created this campaign right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And this is a pretty simple one, guys. So we've got engagement. We're looking good. What do we want to work on? We don't care really about page likes. We don't really care about event responses. We care most about post engagement. So that's what I'm going to select here. Daily budget, you can just keep this you know, where it's at for right now. Then you go into your ad set. This is just your audience. Facebook saying, hey, who do you want to put this ad in front of? So we're in Summers Point, New Jersey here. So what I did is underneath locations, I went ahead and I'm hitting an area within 10 miles of Summers Point, New Jersey. There's mechanics all over the place. So for me to run a bigger radius, like all the way out here in Vineland, for example, you know, guys, you're talking like 30, 40 miles away, potentially, some of these places. Someone's probably not going to drive that far for mechanical services. That's why I'm hitting just like a 10-mile radius. And then age, I did 21 to 65. I didn't go to the 18 or below just because like, their parents are probably doing their mechanic type stuff for the most part with their cars. So I went 21 to 65 plus, all genders is good. I did not do any detailed targeting here because there's not really great targeting to hit up, number one for this. Number two, I just want to get in front of everyone because a lot of people have a vehicle, right? And we're kind of just saying like, hey, if and when the issue arises where you need an oil change or you have a car issue, reach out to us. That's why this is wide open. And then when we go to actually create the post, I just named this one oil change post. And what I did for ad setup is I didn't do create ad, which you could do. I did use existing post. And so now when you click use existing post, you'll be able to select the post. So if we go to change post, you can select the post you put up. So here it is right here. Click continue and that post is up. Now, the only thing that I do want to do, and I'm not going to worry about website events here, just because they have a website, it's not super important. Um, so I did not select this. You can keep this off for now or you can turn it on, but we're not going to go into that in this video. But one thing I do want to do is, uh, let me go. I don't know if I can. Yeah, so I won't be able to, because of the objective, um, I won't be able to edit right here where it says point auto. I would like to edit that out. However, I can't because it's an engagement campaign and that's fine. This is just fine. The reason why is because we have this call now button right here. So anyways, with that being said, all we're going to do at this point is we're going to click on publish. So this ad is going to publish. So we're going to go ahead and let it publish real quick. 
Now, I'm not going to stop here because I've got some other posts I want to create ads around or I want to pay Facebook to show these to more people. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh my page real quick. So this page is or this ad's probably going to say processing, but it's going to go under review here in a few minutes. But check this out. Here's our campaign, engagement campaign one, summer's point within 10 miles, oil change post. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this check mark on here and I'm going to click on duplicate. I'm going to click on existing campaign and I'm going to click on existing ad set. The reason why is I want to run these other ads, these other posts I put as ads to these same people. So I'm going to duplicate it, keep all this here, click duplicate. And now I'm going to go ahead and change this one to um, uh, broke down car post. So now we're going to grab that one. So check this out. Boom, this all looks good. But see here, I'm going to click change post and I'm going to go grab this one. So I'm going to select this one here. And I'm going to click continue and watch what happens. Boom. And we're done. So now add button. We're going to want to go do uh, call now and we're going to want to put the point auto phone number in here. So let me go ahead and grab that. Update post. And we are good to go. So now this one is ready. So now we're going to go ahead and click on publish. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other two posts. All right. So hopefully that uh, brought some insight on a local client we're doing ads for, how to go ahead and set it up. Um, and it's pretty cool stuff. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys. If you're on YouTube right now and if you haven't checked out uh, some of the content, like, subscribe, check the, the description in the YouTube. There's probably a spot where you can go grab a course talking about Facebook ads or how to build websites, how to start your own agency and be able to build uh, an agency and charge clients big money and set yourself, you know, hopefully time and financially free by offering these skills. So if you haven't yet, go check out more of our content and or more of my content. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next videos that comes. Bye-bye.